So this is Joy Dallas, 48 cancer, a claims adjuster, has a 28-year-old child, but she's from Chicago. Kind of mean yep, looking West for a baby. Side. Oh, uh. side. Kind of mean looking for a baby girl. Um really, I just I'm really just looking for somebody who can love me as my true gender genuine self because um i have a really big personality and i'm always out and i like to dance i like to dress half naked uh i don't know i just need them to love me you like to yeah, love me it's questionable sometimes people always say i'm surprised you got so many clothes on today so maybe yeah <laughs> but whatever i just like sexy clothes that's like all. Job. Okay. Yeah. What are your deal breakers? <clears throat> really, it's just simple. I my deal breakers are um men who can't take accountability for their actions, tell you one thing, do another, right? Or men who try to bite off more than they can chew, meaning wanting to date me and to have other people, but can't be consistent enough with me to even begin to build something. And men who do not like to have fun, men who do not like to travel, and men that are homebodies because I'm definitely not. Here we go. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. No mind. <laughs> you wrong. <wrote So>, uh, <laughs> Woo. She, she what, 48? She half a hundo. Let's stop playing. She half a hundo up here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Okay, here we go. Do y'all remember Ren and Stimpy, the episode Space Madness? Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here, this is gatekeeper madness. You, she just babbling, blah, 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 blah. I want a man to travel, and I got a big personality, and she won't be quiet, and y'all see the appearance. She got, <laughs> I don't want to do this because it's, it's, it's low-hanging fruit, but she got even the hair. She... <laughs> I ain't doing it. I got, I got shame. Y'all see it on the screen. She got more hair on her eyelashes than anywhere on her body. And that's why I want to ask <laughs> at some point as we age and getting age and, and getting old is, is a blessing. All right. Uh, denied to many, but I want to know, you know, y'all keep saying that these gatekeepers got great cooter kind of hair. At some point, do, do we as humans start to go bald <laughs> down there? So do we go from gray to bald to get male pattern baldness? On your on your genitalia. <laughs> yeah. Listen here. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride to the game no more. I got the horsey in the back. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. <laughs> Since y'all play too much with that CeeLo Green. Man, this is it. This is CeeLo Mama. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Hmm. Listen. She can print did this talking about she like walk around half naked. CeeLo, if you walk around here with them, them things and appendages from your eyelids and you half naked, yes, that does indeed make you crazy. Thanks for asking. Definitely not. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Um, fair enough. Does he have to look a certain way? Um not really. Um, I'm really attracted to men with um bald heads, bearded men. Um, I do not want a giant, you know, I'm only five feet, five one. So um I don't want somebody that's like six feet tall or anything like that. Um, I they just gotta be pleasing to the eyes. Like I have to find something attractive about them in order to be with them and sometimes it's not even what they look like it's their personality um it's them always making me laugh or it's just their general genuine concern about me okay so you don't care yeah. how he looks no i just care that i'm attracted to him some type of way okay um yeah. okay now what are let's see let me get some amount of money so i I make good money so um and i do what i want to do so i really don't need his money i just need him to be able to take care of his business and go places and do things because i like to go places and do things what 
So just be available. You're not caring about how much money he makes. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. All right, Joy, no. let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, your name is Joy. So it is. You're very it. joyful. Yeah, can you see? Mm. I usually have my selfie stick, but I don't have it. You see me? Okay, we see you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, he just have to be somebody that loves me. Kendra, somebody um I like affection. Um and I like quality time. So I prefer somebody that's close. Okay. But you know, if not, you know, we can probably work it out. Okay. But I do like Fair quality enough. time. Fair enough. All right, and then um when was your last relationship? Um, about two and a half years ago when, um, I thought I was going to get married, but I didn't. Oh, what happened? So we were only dating a short amount of time and I was cool with some things that I didn't know about him. And, um, one day he just out mm -hmm. of the blue, out of the blue proposed to me. Right. And, you know, I'm like, what? don't do this. Don't do this in front of people. But anyway, he did it anyway. And I was like, okay, well, now that you propose, you need the answers the questions that I haven't asked or I haven't pressed you about. And he wouldn't. And because he didn't, I broke it off and, you know, then became single again. Okay, I don't think we were great. engaged even a month after. Yeah. And when did this happen? Uh, this, this was in 2020, 2021. There we go, Mr. Walker. Hell! Yeah. This is, I'm getting a Mr. Walker classic. I think they was in the living room busting down on the four for four. And, and that couch nigga looked over across. He said, Let's quit playing, babe. Why don't we go ahead and quit and just do this thing? Uh, what you man. get, Mr. Walker? I don't know, man. <laughs> man, yeah, she need to stop playing. He looked over at her. He said, Listen here, I ain't gonna hold you. He said, I'm gonna speak from my heart. He said, This couch, this the most comfortable couch I done ever put up put my personal imprint in i don't want to go i can see myself here almost forever you know what i'm saying you feel me shouty and you see what i'm saying type shit <laughs> hey. he said well, are you proposing to me he said i'm following them you know i'm following them <laughs> i'm following them type shit you know what i'm saying what you what you saying what you think you go ride with me or not shouty <laughs> Are you asking She's for my saying, hand we in go. marriage? She, oh my God, this is crazy. I mm. wanted to say it because here we go, another gatekeeper, or at least gatekeeper in training. Here we go. I I fear the the uh, Bati boy accusation coming back again. She said she had to ask some oh. questions. She said I've been pressing him about some questions, you know, and he won't answer them. So either she had questions about, you know, you know, about his his sexual preference or when he was going to get a part time job. Back turtle, then. Turtle. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. OK. Yeah. You've been single since then. So you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, Probably back in March or so. Um, Yeah. About March. Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right. So, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I can stop being such a busybody. Maybe that's one. Time management, for sure, because I be all over the place sometimes. Um, patience, because my cutoff game is strong. Okay. Yeah, patience. Okay. And yeah. why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I mean, men always say they want peace, right? They always say they want peace. They want women who um ain't gonna nag them all the time. Women who can cook. Women who got their own. Uh, I got. I have all that. You know, I just require for you to be able to, you know, take me out sometimes, go on trips, you know. And, you know, show affection and accept me for who I am. You can't say that you love me when we first met and everything about me and months later try to change everything about me. You know, that doesn't make sense. So that's, yeah. I love it. I, I love your <laughs> story here. Have you always rocked that style? So, 
I've been bald for six years, uh, eight years now, since I moved to Dallas, like about nine months after I moved to Dallas because I have alopecia and lupus. And so my hair was falling out real bad. So I just prayed on it. And one day I woke up and took scissors to my head and I've been bald ever since. Yep. Uh, I think she walked into this one, y'all. Huh. You was what? I got alopecia, so my hair just falls out. You're still pretty. Thank Put your hair back on. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Alopecia? Bitch, where is your hair? That is not alopecia. You've been wearing the wigs too motherfucking long, NJ. Oh. <laughs> hair! The poor sister. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh -huh. See? See that? Hold up. That is out. <laughs> I yes, I'm I was laughing, but I take I take it back. If she if she did indeed have alopecia, but that was that was Derek Williams and Don Jeter. Y'all call her Cal <laughs> Cal you and Don Jeter. I don't know you what you want. You said she looks like the baby dolphin. No, bro. It's a rough That's crowd tonight. I you know what, but no. Yeah, stop that. Yeah, alopecia. Everything's so convenient. I'm serious, man. I'm tired of the convenient excuses to convenient ailments. Oh, Bonquisha, why are you so big? Oh, oh my thyroid. Why? What's up with your hair? You wear all them wigs? Oh, no, not wigs. It ain't stress on my hair follicles. No, it ain't because it's dyed, fried, and laid to the side. No, it's it's the alopecia got a hold of me. Shut up. There we go. Yeah. Listen, listen, everybody doesn't have the face, but you have the face for it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, not tell your cousin. Stop the cow. It's like I was little Bill, Mr. Clean. Huh. I mean, I was baby. <laughs> well, girl, I, I, I will apologize Bill. for them in advance, but you know, the cousins, the cousins gonna cuss it. They baby, they terrible but i'm good with it. i got tough skin i had to get used to this head long before i met some cousins so it's okay well let me say this i think not only is it it, it to me it shows how confident you are right because yeah. it's not easy walking into this world knowing that the world is going to judge you going to speak about you or whatever the case may be without even knowing the backstory um behind it so i i think that to me it's another badge of honor and your confidence and 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 your ability to be strong in this world which i think is very important so kudos to you thank you girl they just don't know i'm <laughs> awesome <laughs> <laughs> i know that's right all right let's do a joy what's the age range you would date um i'm gonna say 38 to maybe 58 38 to 58 all right boo yeah. um how can the guy reach out to you baby girl um, Instagram will probably be the best. Um, what a joy It's at what a joy 365 or right here on Facebook. I'm, um, oh, what a joy on Facebook. Oh, what a joy. Yeah. I changed it to, oh, what a joy. Oh yeah. Y'all on one. She getting it here. The Kendrick chat. Y'all she been, she been catching it, man. City boy. City boy. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. At the very least, what y'all take from this project Leroy back with his with his end of the end of the video skip. At the at the very least, what y'all take from this, please observe how the sexual marketplace is going to judge ye upon entry. They ain't sitting here waiting, you know what I'm saying, with flowers and pamphlets and 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 friendly itineraries. No. The open sexual marketplace standing there with razor blades and lemon juice waiting for you to do something dumb like this. Absolutely. Yeah, my guy Project Leroy, he says a badge of baldness, old school band, much obliged. I don't know, was she 50 years old? Mm -mm -mm. She 50, half a hundo out here, half a hundo bald, blowed out, <laughs> alopecia. The marketplace ain't gonna give you no kind of understanding. Good luck. Good luck, sister. Godspeed. Until then. Nope. Ooh. You know, there's a thin line 
between confidence and delusion. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's conf you can <laughs> once you start to start acting like that sister there and Lizzo's and then every Kendra contestant we done showcased up here, that's you delusional. Yeah, confidence, you ain't got to say, when you confident, you ain't got to say, oh, I'm a catch, oh, I'm the bomb, I'm awesome. You exude it. People just, people tell you that you are that. <laughs> Your peers yeah. acknowledge that. That's what Kendra said. I love your confidence. It's a thin line between that and delusion. So 